I'm going to hit you with your front foot inside right now. So get you. Yep. Knee. So. She. Go. Rook. No noise when your foot comes down. Hit you. Uh, when you execute the technique, look, you're here, right? You execute the technique, knee comes up, and kick, right? Your foot is loose as you're bringing it up. The only time it really uh, tightens is when you execute the technique. So when you execute the technique, it's, I don't know if you can, if you could, uh, if you were here, you might, uh, you would definitely understand it better. But uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here, it's a, it's a kind of a snap motion. It, it's a snap motion. Just as you snap it here, just as you snap it there, it's a snap motion. So from here, so it's boom, at this apex, boom, you snap it down, okay? All right. Uh, so, uh, try when you're here, try not here so that you wind up, right? This is from here to here, that's all. Your torso stays, your body stays, only the leg goes. All right, go! And one way you can tell, if you find that your body's, if, if you find that your body is moving, so that you can throw the kick. Your body is moving so that you can throw the kick. Then uh, you're telegraphing a motion that's gonna come. Or, uh, and you're letting the opponent, as soon as you do this, your opponent can go himself on the attack. Because the minute that it's not really done much anymore, uh, but the minute I see somebody about to turn their backs, I'm on them. I mean, I don't care who you are. You could be six foot five. You're giving me your back, I'm on you. Very simple. If you, if you have your back towards me, you're here. What can I do? There really isn't that much that I can do. In terms of the options, I have the, uh, 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 a plethora of options. I have a, I have a, I have a whole bunch of options that I can do. You're restricted to the motions that you can do. So I know that, and I know that as soon as he starts turning his back, I'm on them. And nine out of ten times, on a, where it isn't like a face punch or anything like that, nine out of ten times you're here, boom, you can sweep them down. Now it used to be a good sweep, and strike before you hit the ground was uh, considered an ifon, even full contact. It was a, a, a point. Uh, I don't see that technique used very much. But you got to keep in mind, the reason I'm saying this is because I want you to avoid getting into the practice of telegraphing your move. Now, I don't know if you remember, but that's why when, the other day when we practiced the back kick, I, we went here, and I told you, you can't drop down a little. You want to make sure you're well grounded. And that foot is right here. It's right here, so that from here, it drives out. That is, it's right here, correct? Right here. From right here, that foot drives out. If you start going here, it's already too, your foot is already too late to fall out for the guy. If the guy is close to you, now you can kick it. So if I'm turning, I'm kicking. I'm not turning uh, for any reason. I don't care what it is, I'm not giving my back to you. Don't give your back to the opponent. If you're turning, either you're running, I mean, you're creating greater distance and move, or you, you execute the technique, all right? Okay, so it's important when you're doing this technique. The effectiveness is the technique of the technique is because you're not, you're not telegraphing anything. 
the opponent doesn't know that that kick is coming. And the closer he is or she is to you, the less they are aware of it. So keep that advantage to you. From here, don't telegraph turning. You're here, your body stays there. If your hand is here, it should stay there. If your hand is here, it should stay there. And you can go from here to here, right? Go! This comes out as an easy motion. I don't want to put power in it. All I want you to do now is move with the motion. Each, knee, so, she, go, rook, switch. Each, knee, so, she, go, rook, switch. Now, when you drop the foot, no Let's noise. Go now, all right? We're going to speed it up. Let's go. Now we're in action, motion, fast. Each, knee, so, she, Go, rook, switch. Reach, knee, so, she, go, rook, switch, knee, so, she, go, rook, switch. Reach, knee, so, she, go, rook. Now Last class, this class, you notice we're working a bit on angles. We work quite a bit of angles in the last class. Uh, with a uh, few different techniques, particularly with the hand techniques. This time we're going to work angles, um, combining the two, but uh, probably more with uh, leg techniques. We'll see where it takes us. There are two really pretty good ways of executing the inside roundhouse techniques. Uh, they kind of work uh, very, very well. When you're in this position and you're punching, you immediately follow up with an inside roundhouse kick. That seems to work very, very well. Uh, I will tell you the uh, countless of times uh, I've used it uh, successfully, countless. The person is absorbed here. The person is, uh, as soon as you hit, you know that, you know it kind of like they've got to absorb it, right? They absorb the, uh, the punch. Uh, you absorb the punch, you either stay right straight here, and the guy who does that, his hand is usually open. He's not here worrying about his head. His, uh, head. his hand is here, why? Because he's tough, right? He can take it. The other one is that uh, uh, when, when, the, when the punch comes very often, the person will absorb the punch so that it has less impact. So that motion is there. It's a slight motion. I don't know if you can see it. That motion is there. That hand automatically moves. So if you're in this position, if you're in this position and you're going to kick, you've got an opening here. You've also got an opening in the front leg. So it's really, you have a good option of which one to use. The other way that it seems to be really quite successful is when you angle it off. So when you angle off in the position of moving to you, moving to you, when the opponent, I'm the opponent, when the opponent is moving to you, when the opponent is moving to you, they have to shift again their position, right, by default. If they're shifting by default, you have a perfect opportunity to bring that leg a little higher than the hand and dropping it to his or her face. The inside roundhouse kick is also extremely effective close range. It's a difficult kick to see when you're in close at close range. When you're far, it's easier to telegraph it. When you're close, it's easier to camouflage it. So you practice the inside roundhouse kick, side, inside roundhouse kick. Junior students from here, step to the side, and now use your front foot inside roundhouse kick, okay? So you'll follow me, junior students. Three. Knees. Song. She. A 
again into slide hitch knee slide slide swoops she back foot brings you and kick okay the kicking foot goes back back foot moves you and kick kicking foot goes back back foot moves you kicking foot goes back okay angle side get on motion your opponent is in front of you correct you step to the side He's got to move. That is, you're in here in this position. You started with your opponent here. You step to his side. He can't keep looking here. He's got to turn to you. So this is one bump. So this is on a 45 degree angle or the angle that is good for you. So, if you have very, very long legs, the person is very close to you, you'll want to step maybe just to the side. If the person is coming back, you'll want to move even back angle. But this is assuming the person is right there and you're initiating the first attack. Get a march here. Okay? That's all I want you to do. Step side. Uh, get on motion. So from this position, side, kick. And step. Side, kick. When you, when you go side, your back foot comes from, you end up kicking with the back of it, correct? When you go side, when you go side, your back leg ends up kicking head up on you. Okay? So from here, pinch and step. Pinch and step. Pinch and step. Pinch and step. So you have to imagine the person's in front of you. The person's in front of you, step side, get on motion, step. The person's in front of you, right? Step side, angle off, get on motion. So, so your left wheel is front, pitch, and step forward. Now, remember, it's an angle off. You're angling off. You're angling off. Get on motion. Step. Okay? Angle off. Go. Into the punch. You deliver another punch. You step in. Now, if your opponent, very, very often, especially in Kyokushin, your body's very strong. Right? Nare, nare. You can relax. Your body is very strong. So you take and you absorb the punch. You've seen it. You've seen it where the punch come in and, you know, the guy just absorbs the punch. So, bam, bam, you strike. They're still there. You're stepping in because I want you to get a little distance. And how you do that is that when this hand comes forward, push them back. So when this hand punches, you push them back. You execute data marching. They're still focusing up here because that's where the head comes, especially if now you put your hand out to, uh, to, uh, to push them back. They're still thinking hand, torso. They're not thinking down. So that's why I tell you you execute a data marching, right? Now, another option is from here, here. Now, you're not just going to do this once in a fight. You know, the techniques that you do, they repeat themselves, correct? So that you come in, now you come in, 
Now, once the hand is there, elbow right away. <clears throat> so, so this is one, two, elbow. So if they're, if you were doing a moon tie or a street fight, that would be an elbow to the face. But their hands are here, chances are they're right here. Chances are they're, they're right here. And if they, you got your guy who's very strong, he's gonna leave himself open, you know? He's, he's the tough guy, he doesn't get hurt. So he's gonna be open. So elbow and try to get the elbow He's gonna be in the, the position where this part of his body, what kanji is, is gonna be exposed. That's where the heart is, right? Get your elbow right in there. And so sometimes it's hard to do just straight. So your elbow's gotta come a little bit, your elbow's gotta come a little bit down. Bam, bam, get a mosh again, okay? Now the elbow don't swing it out because that telegraphs. The elbow's got to be from here. It's your body, again, giving the elbow. It's not your hand, the elbow, really doing the damage. It's your body that's coming in and using your elbow. Your body is using the elbow to deliver the shot. Remember last week what we said about the punch, that the power is not here, the power is in your body? Same thing. Power is not in the elbow. It's in your body. Get on marching. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. Now, it's important for you to deliver the elbow for it to be a smooth motion. You don't want the elbow high. You don't want it low. Your shoulder areas are very, very, uh, they can be strong, but they're also, in a sense, delicate. If you damage them, it, 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 it hurts and it makes it difficult to deliver the blows properly. So you want to protect them. The way you do that is putting, by putting your body into it. Because now it's not your elbow that's delivering with the, elbow, with the elbow. It's not your shoulder delivering with the elbow. It's your body delivering the impact. So your elbow delivers the impact, okay? All right. So from here, one, two. Step in, get on march, you get in. And you can alternate between pushing, elbowing, whatever you want, or just one, two, punch. One, two. Push, get on mosh. One, two, step, kick. Okay, we're gonna do it again. One more, slide in. One, two, step in, get on mosh. One more, slide in, one, two, step in, get on mosh. Now we slide back, slide back, one, two, step back, get on mosh. Slide back, one, two, step back, get on motion. Slide back, one, two, step back, get on motion. Right? Okay. We're gonna practice that. This motion has to come really smoothly for you. It can't be that you're thinking, it can't be that you're thinking. The idea is that the guy's coming in, you're attacking as you're moving, but you know very well as you move back, you don't have as much power as when you move forward, but you're still delivering the techniques. You step back, give them a greater avenue to come in, execute a gate on marching. Now, we're gonna vary that down the road, but for now, this is what I want you to practice. All right. From here, stretch, any stretch that you want. Any stretch, go ahead.